Hey guys, it's M Audiophile. Uh, so I thought today would be doing something uh, slightly different. Uh, I get this idea, the bookshelf speaker tier list uh, from Cheap Audio Man. Shout out to him. It's a very good, cool idea. I thought I would share the, the same thing, uh, but with other speakers, as you can see uh, here. And also uh, my thoughts, there would be probably uh, different than his. Uh, and also uh, my tier list is uh, made uh, uh, very subjectively, okay? Uh, it is uh, mm, directly connected with the sound. Uh, I will be putting uh, those speakers in order um, in how much I like how they sound, okay? So it is a fun little video, not, you know, some objective uh, cri criticism or review, just a fun video. Okay, so without further ado, uh, let's start. Okay, so we have, uh, I think it's pretty self-explanatory, all this, uh, all those terms, amazing, I love them, is that on the top, so those are the best speakers uh, Speakers I love, absolutely. I would love to listen to them again, and, and I like those speakers, not bad, but I don't know, so they are kind of nah. And nope, those are the worst speakers. Okay, so starting uh, with first, uh, Q Acoustics 3030i. So I reviewed those speakers uh, not long ago. Actually, this is uh, like a few days ago I've added the, the review video. So, you know, I shared my thoughts about this speaker there. Uh, so I liked the boldness in the vocals here. Mm, but other than that, the bass was uh, quite not in my taste. Um, the highs were okay, but you know, and fidelity, oh yeah, this speaker had uh, some serious problems when it comes to uh, creating convincing 3D-like image. Okay, so, uh, nope, okay, uh, maybe not uh, that bad, but, um, not bad, but I don't know. Or should I put it here? I like those speakers, uh, let me think. I think, yeah, yeah, not bad, but I don't know. Okay, uh, so the next speaker on my list is KFQ350. As you may know, uh, I was quite critical about this speaker. Uh, but keep in mind that was um, in relation to the, to the price. Like 600 bucks, no, they are not worth that. But uh, actually I slightly changed my mind on those speakers um, after review, reviewing um, some others. Uh, they are not that bad, mm, they have their strong uh, points, I have to say. Mm, so maybe I would put them here or here. Mm, okay, let's actually put them uh, here for now. They are not that bad, just uh, overpriced, yeah. So, Bowers and Wilkins 685S2. Uh, I think actually those are a bit better uh, than the next generation uh, of uh, 600 series, 606. I think they are a bit uh, more subtle in the highs and uh, the whole sound is like a bit more pleasing and kind of magical. The 606 is just kind of distorted in a way, those are a bit better in my opinion. So those are actually pretty nice speakers, maybe a bit thin sounding uh, too, but they are nice, yeah. I would love to listen to them again, yeah, most definitely. Bowers and Wilkins 606. Uh, so I haven't listened to 606 S2, but actually uh, from what people say, uh, the harshness isn't gone, so yeah, there's something to, to do, definitely keep in mind. And like I said, they are they sound sort of distorted. They sounded sort of distorted to me and uh, 
very thin yeah not the best speakers uh maybe not there hmm not bad but i don't know yeah most definitely this is the best uh category for them elac debut b6.2s uh 300 bucks for this kind of speaker is actually pretty good uh i will give them that i like those speakers yeah maybe even those a bit more okay uh wardale diamond 10.2s as you may know uh those were my previous main speakers uh very nice speakers yeah slightly deep in the mid-range but very good high frequency uh superb bass especially for close distance oh maybe a bit overwhelming but uh, you get my point. Pretty nice bass. Yeah, I like those speakers. Definitely. I would love to listen to them. Hmm, maybe here. Okay, let's put them here for now. Warfdale Evo 4.2s. Uh, there is a lot of hype about this speaker on the web. Uh, and I don't think it's justified. I've listened to the speakers and for the price yeah, it's a three-way, um, and in some larger room it may shine, but in, in my, for my taste, it was not really that good. Uh, it lacked some refinement in the highs. The whole speaker sounded like a bit too muddy for me. I, I didn't like the speaker at all. So um, maybe not here because it wasn't that bad mid range was actually pretty nice and the, the bass uh, was quite nice in a few ways so maybe not bad but i don't know yeah this is pretty good uh summary for those castle knight 2s exceptional design and build quality really but um uh, not that good in terms of sound like Pretty much every aspect of them was average or or maybe not even average, so I don't know. One of the worst speakers probably I, I've listened to. Hmm, it's it's tough because they look you know fabulous and all that, but um, oh and I should also mention they changed something in the crossover apparently. Uh, at some moment, at some point, uh, so and I've listened to them uh, like one year ago. So maybe they changed something and it was worse than on, in the beginning. I don't know, but uh, from what I listened, um, I kind of uh, not bad, but I don't know. Okay, we we can put them here. And actually, I would uh, slightly change the order here. Barros and Wilkins was more interesting than that. Uh, then they, they... Okay, that's that's pretty good order here. Uh, Dali Sensor 3. Uh, actually, this was uh, a while ago since I've listened to them. But I recall them as very sweet sounding. Very kind of interesting, magical, yeah, in a way. Uh, slightly warm in the mid-range but in a way the mid-range was slightly in favor i don't know very weird weird uh speaker i would love to listen to them again <laughs> but i don't know if i uh, can have to put them here maybe not uh yeah yeah i, I would love to listen to them yeah and actually war the dice would be here i don't know yeah, okay, maybe they can stay here. Focal Aria 906. Uh, beautiful speakers from France, made in France. That's a big point to them, but maybe not in this video and maybe not uh, for this list. Uh, in terms of sound, I think you need a large room to appreciate their uh, immersive fidelity and scale because, yeah, that's that aspect is like overwhelming but only if you have a uh, few meters to them and big room to to appreciate this uh, i i believe um, in some close distance listening i was not able to to feel that scale but 
Mm, those are serious speakers, you know, don't get me wrong. But maybe a bit too much in the highs and mids, not enough bass for me, yeah. I would describe them uh, that way. So I will put them here, yeah, definitely uh, above the ELAC. Mm, don't get me wrong. Monitor audio bronze 2, uh, bronze 2, yeah. Uh, okay, so those are actually uh, some older speakers, um, by the way, just like the Worfdales. Uh, pretty nice speakers, uh, a bit shallow in terms of bass, but uh, the price was also pretty nice. Um, and they had uh, very wi wide uh, horizontal dispersion, so that was pretty good. The high frequencies were, were also pretty nice and uh, mid-range was very good, I, I recall. Uh, bass was probably the, the mo least impressive uh, thing in this speaker. So I will put them uh, maybe a, a bit better than ELAC. I don't know, hard to say, but we'll put them here. Uh, and finally, Quadral Platinum Plus 2. As you may know, this is the only speaker to this day uh, that received uh, 5 stars from me. Uh, very nice speaker. Uh, actually slightly V-sounding, V-type uh, sound, but uh, actually not <laughs> at the same time, because uh, the mid-range is still on the good level and uh, in my measurements in my room that I've uh, showed in uh, Q Acoustics 3030i review, you can see the mid-range is pretty neutral, so very nice speaker. Maybe a bit more detail, um, or should I say extension, resolution in the high frequencies would be nice. But bass, man, the bass on the speaker is... I've never listened to better bass. This is really exceptional, so amazing, I love them. Uh, so there we go, there, that's my subjective uh, list. Um, when it comes to the sound, what, what, what I like, uh, bookshelf speakers. So amazing, I love them, Quarrel Platinum Plus 2. I would love to listen to them again. Uh, Bowers and Wilking 605, uh, 685S2. Dali Sensor 3. Warfdale Diamond 10.2s. Mm, maybe I will put them here, actually. I don't know, very hard. Yeah, maybe, maybe put them here. Okay, yeah. Okay. Uh, I like those speakers, Focal Aria 906. Uh, very serious speakers, don't get me wrong. And, uh, you know, maybe they are not on the top of the list, but they are serious speakers. But you need, uh, but you need a room and, you know, some external factors to truly appreciate that. Okay, so monitor audio bronze tools, pretty nice speakers too. Uh, Warfdale Diamond 10.2s, uh, those are older by the way. Uh, the newest one is Warfdale Diamond 12. Uh, ELAC WB 6.2s, very fine speaker for the price. Uh, KevQ 350, I need to listen to them again maybe, but I would, they were, yeah, just, yeah, maybe, okay. Not bad, but I don't know. Uh, Bowers and Wilkins 606. Yeah, those were um, a bit too harsh and uh, thin. And for the price, yeah, no way for the price. Not for me, yeah. Uh, Q Acoustics 3030i, yeah, I didn't feel them uh, too. Uh, Warfdale Evo 4.2s, yeah, the same thing. Uh, Castle Knight 2s, exceptional design, like I said, but the sound not on par with the looks. And uh, I actually haven't uh, put anything into the nope category because, uh, yeah, all of the speakers are not as bad uh, to put them here. So I think, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know what do you think. Uh, sorry if I made some uh, spelling mistakes, but English is not my main language. So uh, spontaneous videos like this uh, may not be perfect. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, write your thoughts in the comments. See you in the next one.
Peace.